Hi, I'm an elementary art teacher. Since March of 2020, I have been teaching 100% virtually and online. This is going to be a video of some tips for fellow art teachers on using Canvas. I have been asked a lot by non-teachers, is it even possible to teach kids online, especially art? Like, how do you even do that? Is that possible? Yes, it's possible. I've been doing it since March. It's almost been one year and it's been going. There are two things my school uses. We use Zoom for online, in-person, face-to-face-ish classes. We also use Canvas as our online learning platform where kids can get lessons, information, and turn in their work. When I started Canvas, I had no idea what I was doing and there wasn't a lot of information of other art teachers that are that were willing to share information. Like I didn't know how to use it as an art teacher. So I'm gonna go through my Canvas page and show you how I set it up for my young, amazing artists. As I go through my art Canvas page, I'm not gonna show you any setup or how to build your own course. I'm just gonna show you what students see and how they navigate to learn. So in my teacher Canvas, I have one course per grade level. 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, and Kindergarten. Each of these is an art class for that grade. I've set them all up pretty similarly, but I'm going to show you my 5th grade art class. And I'll open it in the student view. My layout and setup has changed throughout this year, and I think I've got something that works pretty well. So here, students would go to the dashboard and they'd be able to see other courses, so I'll open my 5th grade art there we go. The course opens with the home page here. The home right there. I have assignments and grades. I have nothing else for them down here. This is all they can see. So at the top I have my buttons or the images that link to things. Zoom link here and the Zoom link is also here in my schedule. So Friday from 2 to 2.30 fifth grade has art and I'll open it a little early if they have questions. So this link will bring them right to my Zoom class. So will this one. This is a different Zoom link where they can come to ask questions or have help. Usually I try to have a half hour a day where students can just join in. I have art books which actually lead to different resources like YouTube channels and PDFs where they can look through the books and some drawing prompts down here. That's usually for them to do on their own if they're interested in building their skills. I have my student art gallery. Each week I try to update it with an image of the artwork that has been turned in. So here you can see um, last week's art, art from before. Some of them are labeled with names, some of them are not. And then I have art points. I noticed that in virtual learning, students really needed more of an incentive to even just come to class sometimes. So I came up with a system that um, gives kids points and they can earn prizes. So they get a point for coming to Zoom, they get a point for turning in a Canvas assignment, and then they can get a point for going above and beyond. But generally, I'd like them to get two points a week. There are different prizes and kids really like the sticker vault. So if I go there, I have pictures of different stickers and they're all coded too, where they will message me and tell me which stickers they want and I will mail them to them and then take off some of their points. This is loading a little bit slow. Hopefully I'll be able to show a little bit of one of these pictures. Okay, you can kind of see here, these pictures will take a while to load, but. A a student will say, I want C3 and C5, and I will find those stickers and I will mail them to them. Down here, I put the points per quarter. So each quarter they have so many points. We're in quarter three right now, so they're just earning their points. If they spend them, I'll put a little negative by it. And then lastly, for my buttons on top, I have my newsletter and that will go to my current monthly newsletter. Right now it's January, and I have some information, the apps that I need them to download, some student artists of the month, that kind of thing. 
here's the schedule and I already went over that. But right under the schedule is the current lesson. This changes once a week. I see the students once a week, they have once a week assignments. So current lesson, lesson three, the portraits, and then I have a picture. And then down here is every lesson from the quarter. Usually there's nine weeks in a quarter, so there'll be nine lessons. Unless we have a day off, there could be eight. We've only gotten through three right now. So they can get to the current lesson by clicking this picture area or this area here too. They can always go back and complete their past lessons because I don't close them until the semester or the quarter ends. Then down here I have um, show and share. This is just an extra thing I added because sometimes students want to share their artwork with their classmates or me. And if you, um, if you look, I see one artwork so far and I can respond, other students can respond. So that's just kind of an extra thing if kids want to share their artwork. We don't use Artsonia much this quarter since they can turn things in on Canvas, but I still have that as an option. And then I also have my rubric. This shows kids exactly how to get a specific grade in the three categories that art grades. So each quarter they're graded in participation, knowledge, and behavior, and this is exactly how they can get a good grade. So if I click on a lesson, you can also go to the assignments here. There's so many ways to navigate through. I just try to make it as easy as possible. My assignments will usually follow a similar format each week. We will start with some kind of inspiration. This could be a video, a picture, or something, a question. Then there's video instructions that I usually record myself and they can watch. I try to keep it around five, six minutes long. If they, don't like re um, if they don't like watching videos, they can just read the instructions. And then I'll have some tools to know or resources. And then the examples of what I want them to turn in. So here I have also a checklist to make sure they did these things before they submit their assignment. So they would click on submit assignment, file upload, and choose from their library or take a picture. Each week they turn in one image of their artwork. I tried to do other assessments such as discussion, um, videos with questions, quizzes, but it seemed to be a little confusing. So I stuck with just one similar thing each week. Make art, turn in a picture. If we have discussion or if we have questions, I will ask them during Zoom. But on Canvas, I don't want to give them too much. As the art teacher, I only see them for 30 minutes a week, and I don't get a lot of time to explain my Canvas page. The regular homeroom teachers have a lot more going on on their pages, but on mine, I just want it to be as easy as possible and easy to understand. The rest of my classes are pretty similar. Of course, I change the different lessons for each of the grades, and that's pretty much what my Canvas page looks like. It might look a little different in a month or two, but this is what I have come up with and what has worked so far. And I hope it can inspire you and maybe give you some helpful tips and information.